You might have noticed that on the home page we're displaying the authenticated user's name as well as the auth navigation. And if we go to any other page, for example the profile page, we're still able to fetch the user's profile data since we have the cookie, but it's as if the layout component lost all of our data. And in fact it's just because we're not executing auth initial props on either the profile or login pages, and therefore we're not passing anything down to our layout. So we'll head to profile first. We'll import auth initial props. We'll take the profile class and we'll set get initial props to the executed auth initial props. And then on the layout component, we'll spread the entire props object onto it with the object spread and then this.props. Then in our logout page, we'll do the same. Say login dot get initial props auth initial props and here since this is a stateless functional component we'll get the props and the parameters and just spread down props and then once we save everything we should have the user data appear in the layout no matter what page we're on. Now one of the last few things to do is to get this logout button working. So back within the auth file, we'll create a logout user function. It won't take any arguments, and this will be an async function. Before we make a request to our server in order to log us out, we want to clean out the data that we have on the window. So again, We'll check to make sure that we're in the browser. And if so, we're going to set our underscore user property to an empty object to clear it out. Then we'll make a request. So we'll say await axios.post. And we won't have a payload here. We're just going to make a post request to slash API slash logout. And we won't need any data back. From there, we'll just take the router and then push to the login page. So we'll bring in our router at the top. And then to execute logout, when we click on the logout button, we'll head to layout and import our logout user function there. And then we'll just add an on click to our button and we'll reference logout user. Then on our server, after the login route, say server.post slash API slash logout. We'll have a request and a response, even though we'll really only need to make use of the response. We'll use the response to first clear our cookie. So our response will have a clear cookie method on it. We'll need to pass it its name, as well as any options we might have passed to the cookie. So all of the options that we created our cookie with are stored in cookie options, that variable. Then after that, we just need to send a status back of 204, meaning no content. There's no need to send a message or anything back. So we'll save and try this out. We'll hit log out and we're kicked back to the login page. We look in application, no cookies on our window, user set to an empty object. <laughs>